Igbo Area TV on on the Igbo. Hello, viewers. Um, here is the latest on a Mecca Ehedioha versus the Supreme Court Governor of Imo State, Hope Uzodema. Uh, if you have given up, please join us. Let's look at it one more time. Uh, in a matter of days, it will be finalized. Uh, hit the subscribe button below and let's go there. Opinion Ehedioha imagine victorious. Um, Honorable Emeka Ihedioha doesn't have to be governor of Imo State to be victorious. Um, in the hearts of and minds of the people of Imo State, and even in the hearts and minds of those with stolen mandates, Ihedioha is victorious. In a few days' time, the integrity of the Supreme Court of Nigeria which would um, once again be put to test. I granted that Hope Uzodema somehow produced enough evidence to prove that he won the election and as such, uh, the Supreme Court could be said to be working with evidence presented. The world is eager to see how they will interpret the Philip Umadi case that has been brought before it. On one hand, the Supreme Court ruled that Uche Mosu won the APC primaries and was the authentic candidate of the party. Yet, on another hand, the same Supreme Court is declaring Senator Hope Uzodema the winner of an election he cleared by the ruling of the Supreme Court didn't contest him. If he did contest, under what party? Remember, the Supreme Court tells us that Uche Mosu is the candidate of the APC and AA. And for holding dual candidacy, he and the two parties he held their tickets were disqualified. How then did Hope Uzodema emerge from a disqualified APC? This is a mystery the Supreme Court would supposedly help us unravel and test of integrity on our judicial system, which a lot of people have uh, seemingly lost hope in as uh, the last line of defense for the common man. But Ihedioha remains victorious. In the sight of God and in the sight of man, Ihedioha is the governor of Imo State. When somebody steals something, he knows in his heart that he is not the owner of that which is in his possession. They still know the real owner of that thing, even though it is in their temporary possession. And because of that, this is not yours. You cannot force acceptance from the people, which is why emo people act like they have no governor. After months of personal time, Ihedio have returned to Imo and reaffirmed the fact that he is the governor of Imo State, no matter whoever is occupying the office at Douglas House. The people trooped into the street to welcome him. There was a genuine uh, show of love from the people and Ihedioha didn't hire anybody to welcome him. They came freely to welcome their champion. To counter Ihedioha's uh, welcome, uh, the imposter paid a faceless group to replicate the welcome, but their efforts failed and we were let out uh, to hear how they quarreled over sharing on mobilization money. I didn't vote for Ihedioha. I have never voted for him, neither have I supported him before, despite the fact that he personally reached out to me to partner with him for the good of the people. This is according to this writer. But Imo people voted for him. Imo people gave him their mandate. And whether um, I voted for him or not is immaterial. The people's choice is what matters. Tundimo. Ihedioha remains victorious. Like I said, Ihedioha doesn't need the governorship to be victorious. But as there is God on the throne, anything can happen and God can touch our peoples to save the name of the country from further shaming by doing the right thing. Usually, when corruption is done, somebody will say, you know, this is Nigeria. Isn't it time we start changing the narrative? 
Can one man reduce the entire Supreme Court of a nation to ridicule? They have made efforts to dodge this case. They have made efforts to throw it out. They have brought uh, bought time to cook up another angle or story. The world is watching them. The people are watching them. In a few days, they will either prove to the world that this administration means business in its fights against corruption or ridicule the entire nation the more. But in whatever happens, Honorable Emeka Ihedioha remains victorious. My prayers, my personal prayers for Ihedioha today is that he will never again lose his possession. No man shall take that which belongs to him or another. God is still very interested in working for Imo State through Ihedioha. Please viewers, tell us what you think. Um, it's like the Imo people are going to decide again in the Supreme Court on um, who won the election between election that was so clear that he had you have won but uh, somebody installed a fourth position man then they're about to decide again everybody already know who won please add your comment tell us what you think uh, we are not we can't say this is this will be the outcome but this is uh, somebody can say this is what we want to be the outcome tell us what you think subscribe to our channel if you haven't also click on the bell icon to get our updates each time it drop bye for now Thanks for watching Ebo Area TV. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also click the bell icon. Like our Facebook page. Join our Facebook group. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Bye for now.